So I think maybe uh, Grindal would be first to talk. He would be most um, well positioned to shed light on things happening. All right. Let me bring him here and see what he has to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah, one moment, please. Yeah. It's a little hard traveling through this karma. There, over the ocean's fine, but mm, uh, over the land is difficult. Mm. One moment, please. Yeah, all right. All right, I'm here. You must be busy these days. Extremely. I am busy in the Israeli people, in this, uh, my Israeli walk-in, but with the Israeli people as well, and with the I Iran Iranians, Iranians, however you pronounce it, and with Middle East things. It's, it's a great deal of responsibility happening right now especially with the virus being as um, frightening to the world as it, it is at the moment. Uh, so is it really frightening? Well, I many mean, people it, find it very frightening, yes. I mean, is it worse to be frightened about? Maybe it's a regular <coughs> flu, just over <coughs> overestimated. One moment, please. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> he doesn't have it. He just swallowed something. <clears throat> that's sure, all. sure. Just talking about the virus makes makes you cry. Man, that's all right. And well, he's not afraid of it, but the, many, many people are. So one of the conspiracy ideas, which kind of comes to mind, is that maybe it's all artificial. Maybe the virus is not infectious. Maybe it's not a natural pandemic. Maybe they just seed it here and there and and create an artificial. Uh, um, image of a pandemic, but it's all artificial. <laughs> well, there is a disease going around. It is not a natural disease. It was man-made, absolutely. And I think it had some help with some aliens as well. I'm not sure. I wasn't there when it was developed. But I do see, when I look at it, that it is, it is potentially fatal. And that but it is not in its most fatal state. <clears throat> right now it's going through different places of the world and it's only really affecting the elderly. It's Children can carry it, but they're not really getting it. Adults are getting it under the age of 30 and not really getting it. They get a cold or they get a little flu symptoms or whatever. But it's not really um, uh, panning out to give them the sickness because their immune systems are greater. Anyone with compromised immune systems are the ones that have the greatest problems or have chronic illnesses. Those are the ones with the greater problems because it will attach itself to the weaknesses in the system. My question is, is it spreading naturally or is it being seeded in different cities? That is a good question. It has been seeded a couple places. But I mean, if, if they don't help it spread, then maybe it will stop by itself. It is a disease that is in the flu family. So you have your flu season. So uh, the common cold has some of the elements of coronavirus in it. So the common cold will uh, ha can last in summer and winter and all through the uh, the season, but it has a greater season, and that's the the flu season from November to April or whatever it is. But it will die down some, I believe. So the idea is that the conspiracy is using it to take power. Yes, I hope that they don't 
call martial law because if they do, that's really uncalled for. Is there like a bigger plan for that? I mean, what, what do they do? I mean, do they just reset the markers? What's the idea? They are re the market can be reset at this time. I don't think it's going to be. There's too many things other than that happening that I can't share with you that are happening that will tend to recover the market quickly eventually, but um, we'll see if those go into play. So uh, are the good, good guys in action? There are good guys in action. You're in action, I'm in action. I think we're good guys. So there are some good guys in action, but there's also a lot of uh, bad guys in action. So it's a lot of uh, confusion uh, to know who is who. Yeah, but you know, well, the conspiracy assumes that there is someone with a plan. Is there like anyone with a plan? If they have a plan, I don't know exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, if there was a plan, they will tell you something that will throw you off of what that plan is. So I don't even go in for conspiracy theories because they never tell the truth. What is happening at the root is never seen. It's always buried, just like a tree. You might see the trunk and the leaves, but you don't really always see the roots. Right, like, uh, but we see, we have an example of 9-11, uh, uh, right? So yeah. they, needed, they needed to recover the economy and recover American strength. And they did 9-11 to, uh, to basically strengthen their position. So they took some liberties from people and united people in the fear. And it helped the economy somewhat. But, you know, and the bad guys were like, again, on the top. So maybe now they're doing the same. So uh, do you have any insights into that? The thing is about this, it's harder to control a disease. What they did before was very controllable in many senses. This, on the other hand, is not as controllable, at least not to my opinion, because it takes two to 14 days for people to show symptoms. How can you control something that takes that long to gestate? You can control it if you have a vaccine for your people and also- And you, you, don't, can... have, you don't have a vaccine. I mean, these guys might. If they see that they might have a vaccine, they should have a vaccine. Well, and... where is it? Oh, they, they, they keep it to themselves. I see. So it's out of control for everybody but them. Yeah, that makes of course. sense. But the and thing if, is... If they're sitting it, if they're sitting it, then, then control where they sit and where they stop sitting it. Yes, and controlling a fewer amount of people is easier than controlling a lot of people. So they wouldn't want to diminish the population so they don't have a whole lot of uh, things to people to control and they can do it much easier and get everything uh, under under their thumb and that would make everything easier to rule. Oh, uh, that disease doesn't diminish population a lot. It basically damages the economy, but it's only a small percent of population that dies actually. And I know, but that would be my, the only thing that I could see that would be a reason for releasing a disease like this other than the economy, but they don't want to collapse the economy yet. So I don't think that's the reason for it. I, I read the history and I see that uh, the economy went up when the government had a bigger control over the economy, when they uh, united everything, controlled everything. So during the war, uh, the economy went up. And now, uh, when of the course, war stopped, they were making they, things. They were making tanks, they were making bazookas, they were making weapons, they were making, uh, the economy went up for manufacturing all this warlike materials and they were employing a lot more people. So that's why the economy went up then. Right. So they yeah. were, they had a reason for that. They want, they like war, war is a moneymaker. 
especially if it's not on your soil. Right. Very much. Is the war coming? Are they planning it? There, there's many warlike thought processes in place already, but they're sort of afraid to go through with it, but there are some that are just crazy enough they might. But nothing has happened yet, and I don't see anything going to happen right now. But I could be wrong about that. The economic uh, uh, going down started um, before the virus panic spreads, or pre pretty much the virus wasn't as strong like a week ago or 10 days ago. So who started it? What was the, yeah. usually it goes in controlled fashion. Somebody starts it to make money. I don't know who started it. I'm not privy to that information. Neither is any alien. It started outside of our control. Mm -hmm. But we know where it started, and so do you. But when we, disc when we analyze that area, when we look closely at all the things that have happened since that area, the clues are very small. They don't really give us much um, understanding of why it spread so fast in China um, and why it's spreading slower in some other places and very fast in other places. There oh, are no, some would, places okay. where the spread of it are, is very slow in comparison to say Iran or Italy or uh, China. Well, my question was who started the economic collapse? Well, ah. It's not the collapse yet. It's uh, uh, humanity did really. The, we've been telling you that you're going to collapse your co economy eventually. Anyway, this virus is just making it easier. But mm -hmm. I don't, like I said, I don't think your economy is going to collapse at this time. Right. Yeah, market crash. Market. Um... Yeah, market, market crash, but you'll go into a recession, maybe. Yeah, recession. You will, not, right. you will not crash. So usually recession starts by someone who makes money on it. So you don't know the conspiracy behind the recession yet, right? Correct. Okay. There are some things that you cannot know right away. You have to, and they start, like I said, under the ground. You don't know, you have to find the roots of it. We, no one has found the roots of this yet. Okay, so what happens outside of the planet? Uh, any movements out there? Of course there is. Many are, many are they're having many um, uh, get-togethers right now to discuss what their move should be to try to help the world. <clears throat> they don't think this is the destruction of the world, but they do think that it is a definite slowdown for the ascension process. So that really concerns them. Okay. So they are trying to find things or people to stand up and uh, give hope to the people so that the ascension process continues. And it will, it's, it can't stop at this point, but it can slow down and they really don't want it to. But there are those that are saying, yay, it's slowing down. This gives us a chance for greater control, greater um, under, uh, uh, chances to get the people corralled into the places where we want them and know what they're thinking and all this stuff. So it's, it's very, it's, it is very, uh, they're taking advantage of the disease to do that. That's what it looks like. I don't know who started it, but because that is not uncovered fully. And when you look at that area and what happened and what they say happened, it doesn't make any sense. So there's something wrong there. But um, it, I don't even know if that is the origin place, but that is where they're saying that the ori origin place is. I, I have my doubts about that. Uh, what do you think about the first contact? Is it coming closer? This may cause first contact to be closer or it could cause it to be later. 
It depends on the outcome of uh, in the next few months. I would recommend them to come down right now. Right now, they nobody, would, nobody yeah. would panic because of that, because people are busy with other stuff. No, they would panic. They would see this as the perfect opportune time to take over the world. Um, and that's what many fear. More fear that than otherwise. So if, if they would start first contact now, people would be running and screaming and panicking. Here we disagree. I, we. I disagree with you 100%. Because the world is not ready. If you may be ready, but the world is not. The great cities, they are not ready. The people that do not know that, they don't know anything about light workers still. Many people are in the dark and still living very third dimensional lives. And they see the movies and are influenced by the movies that are very negative against aliens. So if aliens would come down right now, you'd have a problem. They'd be shooting them out of the sky. They would be, yeah, it would be a bad, bad scene. I'm not talking about like being present completely, but showing up and uh, saying, hey, we are here. Speaking no. on TV, that would be cool. No, they're not going to do it. They, it's not the right time. Not the right time. They are, I see, I have to disagree with you on that entirely. They will not, it isn't even close time for that yet. So if there are any pirates out there, I would recommend them to show up on TV and, uh, and actually just stop the, stop the, um, Oh, just, just, just to prove that the aliens are there, so people would kind of well, notice. All right. Well, yeah. people know the aliens are there. I'll, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people do already know that, but they don't want to meet them. They are saying, That's yes, the aliens are there. I understand that. I don't want to see them. I don't want to be beamed up. I don't want to know what their agenda is. I just know that they're there because there's been so much news about them. There's been so much this... I just want to live my life. I just want to move ahead forward. I just want to do what I want to do. I don't want aliens to interfere with that. But at least because people are so busy with, uh, with our own problems, uh, the news about aliens wouldn't cause a big panic. Mm -hmm. That's my they, main point. They already know that, yeah. no, news about aliens is all over your world all the time. Uh, people already know that they're there and there's a lot of news about them. But if they would start showing themselves and making themselves uh, aware to people, they would be starting to be very frightened. I could do it in stages. Yes, they're already doing it in stages. This is the first stage, showing everybody the ships, uh, letting news come out that they exist. Uh, the abduction era, but that's a very negative era, but it still told people that they exist. And uh, many other things that science is exposing about uh, radio waves from other planets and things of this nature, nature, this is the first step. Uh-huh. And when the virus is here, it would be so much easier to slip in lots more information about the aliens because people wouldn't yes. notice right away. That is true. There will be those opportunities, yes. And they All will right. be very positive for people looking at aliens for an answer, but they're not allowed to come and save you. That's not what they're there for. Uh, oh, sure. You made your own problems you created this disease. If it turns out that aliens created this disease, then aliens can come help cure it. But I don't see anyone stepping forward because man made this disease. So do you know anything about the vaccine for it? They, they can make a vaccine for it faster than you can by about... Uh, 10 months they've already probably made one but they're not allowed to use it so they're allowed to give you 
some um, the medication that might help to prevent it, but they're not allowed to cure it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that should be very easy, right? That's pretty trivial. Yes, it's easy for them to do, yeah. No problem. They just analyze the disease itself the, and all the components that, that are there and wipe out each one with a different kind of vibrational effect and voila, you have no disease. Um, any, any advice to, to, like, to, to the listeners? Can you give any advice? Um, uh, what kind of advice would the, you like me to give? I just say, don't panic. Uh, okay. it's, it's, I mean, what good would that do? It just makes everything more difficult to handle. That's all. I, but also, um, don't, um, don't listen to a lot of propaganda about it either. I, I mean, if you're listening to the news every, every minute, and it, you're just making yourself more and more afraid. So, and some of that information is good and some of that information is not good. Some of it is helpful and most of it is not helpful. So turn the radio off, all right? Uh, you have to listen for school closings, but call the school. You don't have to listen for it. You can call the school and have them tell you what's going on. In fact, it's easier to do it that way and you get more information. Uh, unless they're bombarded with people calling the school, then, then you might not get through. But eh, I just say, don't listen to too much news. It's way negative for you. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I ask for uh, if Takur is available? Yeah, Takur is available. You Thank want me to bring her? Yeah, thank you, huh? Thank you very much yeah, yeah, for, yeah. Your, for your uh, help. Yeah, I know. You don't agree with my opinions, but I, I know of which I speak. Okay. I love you. I love you, man. Don't tell anyone. Love, oh, love God, you, man. Okay. I hate when I do All that. Right. Okay. I, I have to keep those things more private. Okay. Have a great day. You too. Yeah. Now to get out. All right, here we go.